What's going on guys? It's Valence and back another video and today we have a special video So this is not gonna be a gaming video But this is gonna be a video that can help you in school or at work So this video is sponsored by PDF element So today we're gonna be going over this easy to use PDF editor and I'll be going over all the features on this program So sit back relax and smash that subscribe button So this program is known for its ability to edit PDF files So if you have an existing PDF file and you need to do some changes on it this program is perfect for you. So first off, we have this sample file that I have. It's just a parent's guide to Fortnite. So what we're gonna do is just click and drag this file into PDF element. It's gonna be opening the file and now it's opened. So we're gonna go on full screen mode and, and I'll be showing all the features of this program. So first off, we're gonna zoom out. And on this bar over here, we have a whole bunch of tools so if you want to start editing, all we have to do is click on this tool and we can start editing all the text and picture. So if we want to edit this, we can change it to something else like student, student's guide to Fortnite. You can change Fortnite to a different font. You can choose Arial Black, Times New Roman. And we can also change the size of it really easily. And we can also increase the size using these buttons. We can make it bold or unbold and italic and also change the color. So we're gonna make it, let's make it blue. So that looks pretty nice. That almost looks like the original Fortnite text. So the next feature is we have OCR. So if you have a scanned document, so if you had a report card, for example, or just a letter and you made a spelling mistake on it, or you found something that was outdated, you guys can scan it into the computer, but then you guys won't be able to edit it. But there's a special feature on this program called OCR and it will make your document, which is scanned, and it'll make it editable. So you guys can, so it'll convert it into a PDF and you guys can start editing the text all without the original file. So it's super helpful. So we also have this other button called optimize PDF. And what it's gonna do is reduce the size of the file so you guys can upload it. So you might run into some issues where there's a file size limit on a different website and you need to decrease your PDF file. So this is perfect for that. So if it was a 45 megabyte limit, you guys can lower your, you guys can decrease the size of your file and make it work. So on this convert tab, we can convert it to Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and also to an image and text. So if you guys need to make a PowerPoint, from a PDF, this program is perfect for converting because it's super easy. All you have to do is just click on these buttons and it will easily convert to a PDF, an Excel, a Word document, or a PowerPoint, or an image. So next, if we go on edit, we can add watermarks. So we can remove a watermark, update, or add a new one. So if, so if you wanna add one, we can just click on that button and this window will pop up. And then we could type in something like test and it'll cover the whole thing. So if you ever have, so if you ever have to add a watermark, this feature is perfect for you. So you can also change the properties of it. So you guys can change the color, make it bold, italic, underline, and you guys can change the opacity. So if you think it's too dark, you guys can lower the opacity and make it look more transparent. You guys can make it behind the text or above. I like to keep it above and I'll just keep it black. So here we have it. We have our watermark and we can also change the background. We can make a new background, update background or remove the background. We can add headers and footers and Bates numbering. So on the comment feature, we got we can add comments. So if you guys are working on a document or an essay and you're 
and you're reviewing someone's essay, you guys can easily add comments to the document with this feature. All on the page tab, you guys can reorganize each page. So if you want the first page to be the last, that's how easily it could be done. All you do is click and drag and it's super simple to use. Now on the form feature, you guys can fill out forms. So if you need to sign something like for example, it feels right over here. All you have to do is do that and then you guys can start signing. So we click on this button, click right there, and then we can add a digital signature. Next, we have protection and we can mark for redaction. So with this, so what this is going to do is cover some text that we don't want. So it's super easy. So if we want to cover the Fortnite logo, all we have to do is just highlight it. Boom. Now it's gone. So next, if you want to cover some text, like what is Fortnite, all we have to do is highlight it. Boom. Now it's gone. If we go over it with our cursor, it's going to be black. So of course, when we save it, it's going to be black, but this is just for preview. So we can apply the redactions and it's going to be permanent and it's going to remove the text so no one can see it. So if you made a mistake or if something changes, all you have to do is use this feature. Done. So if you want to sign the document, all you have to do is click on this feature and then we can mark the area and sign right there. So we get so we can create a new digital ID. So you can create a digital ID or user or use an existing one. Next, you guys can easily share it to Google Drive, send it to your Dropbox or email it to someone else. And also, if you guys have run into any issues, just click on help and there's support, there's YouTube tutorials and also you guys can check for updates and there's also a user guide. And if you guys find any bugs, just click on the feedback feature and you guys can report the bugs to the developers. I hope this video helped you guys out and you guys learned something new. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and leave a like on the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.